In the previous lesson, we saw this example with the child running and jumping onto the merry-go-round at the park. Now, let's solve this problem using conservation of angular momentum. I've put some numbers in here. We've got a 50 kilogram child running at five meters per second, as shown in the image. They jump and land on the merry-go-round, which is initially at rest. And we want to know what's omega final. Because there's no net torque on the system, the merry-go-round is free to rotate on a frictionless axle. We can use conservation of angular momentum. Remember, this is a vector equation. Pick a positive direction, clockwise or to be more precise, into the page will be our positive direction. So initially, we're going to have the angular momentum initial for the child, plus the angular momentum for the merry-go-round. And at the end, they're stuck together. The merry-go-round is initially at rest. It has no angular momentum. The child is moving in a straight line. So we said last time, if we have an object moving in a straight line, it can have angular momentum if there's a perpendicular distance between their line of their momentum and the axis of rotation. The line of their momentum is this direction. The perpendicular distance from that line to the axis of rotation is what I'm called D perpendicular or R perpendicular, whatever you like to use. That's just the radius of our merry-go-round. So the angular momentum of the object moving in a straight line, the child in this case, is their mass times their velocity times d perpendicular, and in this case, that's the radius of the merry-go-round. And it's in the positive direction. If they collide with something like the merry-go-round, it's gonna cause it to turn clockwise. So this is a positive angular momentum. And at the end, they're stuck together. So we're gonna use I omega. And again, it's positive because omega is into the page. For the rotational inertia, we have to combine the rotational inertia of the child plus the rotational inertia of the merry-go-round. The merry-go-round is just a solid disk, one half mr squared. The child, will treat as a point mass located at the radius of the disk. So their rotational inertia is just mr squared. And now we can plug in some numbers. I get a final rotational velocity of 1.0 radians per second.